Welcome to Quick Quote Straight Up by Vijay and Prabhu. Kya ora tato? Now my hire my kite Quick Quote Straight Up na Vijay aku Prabhu. Tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. Hello and welcome back friends. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video from us. Today we are going to cover the recently concluded series between South Africa and New Zealand held in our own backyard, actually in Christchurch. It was a two test series which just finished a couple of days ago. Getting into the first test, South Africa had just beaten India in a home series and were full of confidence. But when they came to New Zealand, things began to go horribly wrong. South Africa batted first in the first innings of the first test and were bowled out for 95, Matt Henry taking a career best 7 for 23. This was South Africa's lowest score. The pitch was green, but South Africa could have batted a lot better. Now, when New Zealand came to bat, it was expected that uh, South African bowlers would extract the similar kind of help which the New Zealand bowlers did. Henry Nichols made a 100 and Tom Blundell nearly got a hundred. So eventually New Zealand managed to score 482 all out. Yes and conceding a big lead uh, South Africa were expected to do a lot better in the second innings but they folded up for 111 runs. Uh, Tim Saudi getting five wickets and uh, the player of the match uh, Matt Henry. How could he keep him out of the game? He got a couple of wickets as well. Yes. Uh, yes. This was um, South Africa's second largest defeat in the history of their test cricket. That's correct. And uh, this was also incidentally New Zealand's first victory in 18 years. The last time they won was in Auckland in 2004. So for the last 90 years, in about 46 matches, New Zealand has only managed to beat South Africa five times. And on to the second test in Christchurch. The first test went horribly wrong for South Africa in every possible way. The swing and pace of the New Zealand bowlers proved too hot for the West South African batsmen to handle. And everybody thought that South Africa is going to be a walkover in Test 2. But as you know, Vijay, they are not, uh, we are a tough uh, team to beat. Absolutely. And uh, we knew that there would be something uh, different happening in the game too. And so it did. Yes. South Africa began to bat and they put up a very good score of 364. Irvi hitting 108. And Wagner, with his sharp pace and bounce and short pitch bowling, got four wickets. And Matt Henry, player of the match in the first game, got three wickets. That's right. So when New Zealand came to bat, uh, they were expected to do better than South Africans being uh, playing in the home conditions. Uh, but somehow, Kagiso Rabada had a different view. He took five wickets. Uh, Marco Janssen took four wickets. And uh, um, luckily, uh, I, I say luckily is because with the greatest of respect, that Colin de Grandhomme actually made 120 and Darrell Mitchell 60. And on the back of that, New Zealand were folded for 293 in their first innings. So South Africa got a lead of 71 runs on the first innings and they went into bat trying to make New Zealand have a big score to chase on the batting fourth. They actually did a very good job. 354 for nine, they ended up with, with Kyle Wedderen the wicket keeper scoring 136 and Rabada chipping with an important 47. None of the uh, New Zealand bowlers actually made much of an impact and the, in New Zealand was set to score more than 400 to get in the last innings. That's correct. And then um, New Zealand came to bat and uh, despite uh, their best efforts, except J uh, um, Devon Conway who made 92 and uh, Tom Blundell made 44, there were no significant contributions and eventually they lost all their wickets for 227 uh, by, and losing by a big, big margin. Yes, and actually the uh, story behind this is now for 90 years, New Zealand has been unsuccessful in beating South Africa in any kind of test series, home or away. Correct. And that record has still not been broken. That's exactly right. So lots of questions to uh, ponder on for the New Zealand team. I mean, they drew a series against uh, Bangladesh a couple of months ago, yeah. and now they've uh, drawn against South Africa at home. I mean, for the world number one team in Test cricket, uh, they were expected to do much better. What do you think has gone wrong for them? 
You're right. So uh, they could have scored four points towards the championship uh, uh, against Bangladesh, which they lost. Uh, they also lost an opportunity against uh, South Africa. Uh, predominantly in the second part of the of the test, what I think went wrong purely is because of one-dimensional bowling attack. So if you look at the composition of South Africa team against New Zealand's team, South Africa team had Keshav Maharaj. Now Keshav Maharaj did not score a number of runs or took five or six wickets, but he took pivotal wickets in the last innings of New Zealand. He took three wickets and all important wickets. That was the, one of the reasons why I think New Zealand team misread the pitch conditions and they expected it to be green and they expected to go on for uh, three days maximum, whereas the match progressed to five days yeah. and you know the rough patches came into picture and Keshav Maharaj brought in his acumen with his uh, left arm off spins. Yeah, that's so true because uh, I remember making a comment when uh, New Zealand played in Bangladesh that they omitted the guy who took 10 wickets in the innings against India, they left him out yeah. and to play a predominantly pace attack against Bangladesh, that backfired as well. Okay. So plenty of questions about the team selection as well. They could have included in one of the games here, but they chose not to. Exactly. And the, the one more thing, uh, uh, Brendan McCallum actually summed up a very, very, uh, the, this particular uh, series uh, tied up, al although I consider that it's a loss for Black Caps. Um, uh, he, he summed it up very nicely. He said, if there is lateral movement, New Zealand is the best team going at the moment. But when there is no lateral movement, they struggle and they struggle very badly. And this is another evidence of that particular uh, summing up of Brendan McCown. Absolutely, Vijay. And uh, now we'll have to wait and watch uh, how the selection policy changes over a period of time in the next few games with New Zealand uh, having a lot of ranking points on the table and they stand um, to lose uh, basically uh, their top position very quickly. Yeah, well they are likely to, uh, they are actually scheduled to go to um, England next. So maybe familiar conditions and black caps will do. We wish them all the very best. Uh, the, the important part here is that even though uh, they were beaten at home, they were beaten by a team which actually performed very, very well on, the, on, on, the, on all five days of the match. And that's all friends from us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Matewa. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video.